Conservative giant Glenn Beck has been called a clown, a big, a carnival barker, and now a healer. That sounds confusing to you. Welcome to a brave new world where up is down, black is white, and Glenn Beck is a moderate voice of reason. Loud. Obama wants to legalize the illegal aliens. Combat it. Bro Harlem brute want. Controversial. Hatred for white people. Seemingly able to cry on cue. Have I not yet done enough? That's the conservative radio TV commentator most of America either loves or loathes. You guys must be from ABC. It is not the man we met. How would you define Glenn Beck? How would I define me? Um, struggles really hard a lot of time trying to figure out how to be a more responsible person. Nightline was invited to spend a day with Beck at the Blaze headquarters outside Dallas, an old movie studio staffed by a diverse group of millennials, a storehouse of collectibles that would make most museums blush. That's just the movies and TV. Uh -oh. It's just past 6 a.m. and the boss is one of the first to arrive. How much sleep do you get? A legendary workaholic, Glenn Beck remains a man in a hurry. Where do you go from here? Hopefully quickly out of the makeup. I don't think I've ever interviewed anyone in 34 years who let us interview them while they were getting makeup. Oh, I don't care. It's his favorite part of the day. A quick meeting with his staff, and then he's on the air. Well, I saw an interview with Ted Kennedy. Close to 4 million listeners tune in to his three-hour daily show with more watching online and TV. If this is what the conservative movement is about, Ronald Reagan is dead. On his daily radio program, Beck has for years been the jock of shock. A mama bear thought he was threatening the children. Of course she tore him apart. And for the past year, much of his rage aimed at one man. Donald Trump is a dictator in the making. You called him a sociopath, dangerous, unhinged, unstable, and you compared him to Adolf Hitler. Uh, I don't think I compared him to Adolf Hitler. Nobody can, can be compared to Adolf Hitler. I said Adolf Hitler of the 1930s and 40s is not Adolf Hitler of the 1920s. Somebody who can um, reach in and stir a crowd like that has a moral compass that is wishy-washy at best. They don't all turn into Adolf Hitlers, but one of them did. Beck vehemently opposed Trump during the campaign. But today, despite the barbs he once threw at Trump, Beck is now cautiously trying to turn the page. And now that he's soon to be leader of the free world, you say what? The same thing I said at the beginning of Barack Obama before he made any decisions. I want him to be successful. Even extending an olive branch to the new administration. I am reaching out today. I will call him today. Whether he takes my call or, you know, and I'm not saying that he's going to shun it. I mean, he's now the president-elect. You've talked to him? No, we, we reached out. As for the president-elect's chief White House strategist, that's another matter. Steve Bannon. Yeah. Like your whole constitution is kind of dropped just then just by saying his name. The left and the right have their own demons, if you will, that should be exercised. Define the alt-right for me. The alt-right is a movement um, that I think most conservatives didn't even know. I mean, you think of the Ku Klux Klan. They're no longer racist. They're identists. Well, that doesn't sound as bad as a racist. It's just as bad and just as poisonous. Poisonous is one of the few G-rated words liberals once used to describe Beck, now still staunchly conservative. He wants to be a bridge builder and not a flamethrower. All right, when we get to the scripture quote stuff, I'm, I'm going to just just follow me. So Glenn Beck, the man who's been called a clown, a bigot, a carnival barker, a smug know-it-all, now you want to be a, a healer? No, you're making this too grand. Mm. You're saying you want to? No, 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 no. I am going to do it in my own life, and I am going to do it in my own business. I'm inviting you to make the commitment to do the same thing. Yet despite this new tone, Beck is aware he still has enemies, and as a result, 24-7 security. You get threats still. Oh, yeah. We have, I'm told, at any given time, 15 to 18 active threats to me or the family. Even more than being a conservative, Beck is a deeply religious, equally devoted family man. Come a little bit if you don't, if you don't His mind. daughter, Mary Kate, and son-in-law work for him. I find you 
deliciously delightful. But when I've read about you, I've heard people use, and I can understand the word dangerous. Well, I certainly don't think I'm dangerous. I mean, I guess I could be that character in the comic books. It's a good thing you use your power for good as opposed to evil. I know how to gather a crowd if that is my goal. To be able to know that when you're talking, the televisions are all on at the White House, that's intoxicating, okay? Fame is the most corrosive thing to a soul you can possibly ever introduce. It's awful. More than alcohol? Yeah. More than drugs? Yes. Because you know those well. I too. know them very well. Vices that he says they were all around him growing up. A tough childhood that Beck says, in many ways, shaped his personality. I don't like conflict, believe it or not. Say what? Yeah, I know. I know. You made your living no, on conflict. No, I didn't. No, I haven't. I've, I've made about four years of my life out of conflict, but, and I don't want to be that guy. I grew up in an alcoholic family. Mm -hmm. Lots of problems. You've thought about suicide, yes? Mm hmm Yeah. How close did you come? Oh, um, this is back in the late 80s. Um, pretty darn close. His demons behind him, Beck admits some portion of the bitter divide in America was fueled by commentators like himself, a divide he now hopes to bridge. I'm trying to spend my time trying to talk to people like you, trying to talk to people in the media and say, please don't make the mistakes I made. Still, a glimpse of the former Beck comes to life when one man is mentioned. Barack Obama. Yeah. You were once very critical of him. You called him a racist. Yeah. And now? Um, I still don't feel I've met the genuine man. You paid him a compliment recently, I think, right? Where you said that he helped make you a better man. Is that oh, right? Oh, I firmly believe that. When somebody pushes you and challenges you, you find out who you are, good and bad. Oh, Heavenly Father. We love you very much. We... Some things remain the same for this devout Mormon husband and grandfather. Your husband has a reputation of being loud, shall we say, mm -hmm. when he's having a discussion with someone. Is he loud at home? No. No? Mm -mm. Does he get the last word at home? No. <laughs> Come on. Hello, buddy. At 52, Glenn Beck remains a complicated man, fiercely loyal, still combative, but evolving. If he can defeat his own demons, he hopes the same for the country. I don't think I would have guessed 15 years ago that I would be surrounded by my family. This is the, that is dream come true. We have made a point in my um, family in the last 15 years to break a few cycles of generational cycles and this is a dream come true.